there's not a lot of things left growing in oop tunnels outside. But what has grown has been actually really successful because it's had that extra protection from butterflies with that netting that we've put over. But obviously now, because it's autumn, a lot of the things that were in there have been harvested. And we're just clinging onto a last few bits and bobs, like those cabbages, which one of has grown to about this size and we kind of keep leaving it a bit longer so if we can make it a bit bigger and a bit more compact at the same time. And thanks to that netting, there's no damage on that cabbage whatsoever. But it is getting to that point now where we need to think about emptying that raised bed. Because we've got plants growing already, like spring cabbage and cauliflowers, and we will be sowing some calabrese as well. So we need that space. And it's a 30 foot oop tunnel that I made earlier in here. And it's got three cabbages in it, a few onions and a couple of swede. So the majority of that is being wasted. So I think we'll go and have a look and see if these cabbages are ready yet that's in there. I know the onions can be took out and maybe some more swede. So we'll pop down, we'll get that net completely took off and have a good look. Well, this is that 30 foot oop tunnel that we made. So we'll start here because at this side, we've got swede and turnips and then right at the other end, we've got cabbages and onions. So we'll get the net off and keep his eye out for them butterflies because they are still around. Let's take a look at what we've got. Well, I will admit, first thing we've definitely got is a lot of weeds. But we have got some more swede. They're not massive, but I am going to take them out anyway. We just need that space. Still a pretty good size. A strange shape but still usable. And we'll take them all out because I'm going to be planting some of these in containers in the greenhouse. Maybe one. We've got a swede and a snowball turnip growing together there. Another snowball. Let's get the rest of these. That one's split, so compost for that one. And again, we've got two snowball turnips growing together. So basically, we've multi sown those and left them. And they've done all right. But moving further down, we've got these cabbages and onions. But that's the one I keep looking at. It's a really big cabbage. So there's little insects flying around it. It is a big cabbage, but I can see there's a lot of white fly hanging around. So I think I'm going to take that out today. I don't want to risk losing it. And you can see it has got a bit of an infestation on outside there. So we'll need to clean that back. And the 
rest of this can go for compost. You can see there's quite an infestation going off there. So I think we caught that just in time. Really big rooted plant. Now this next one looks like a really massive cabbage but it looks like it's bolted because it's got way too many leaves on outside and they're not really trying to fold in. This one on the other hand is quite firm and because we know there's still insects about we'll take that one out as well. It is a lot firmer than the other one, so that's brilliant. But, you're still getting little slugs inside. Attracted by that dampness that we've got now. So, take that off. And this needs a bit of a clean down once again but it's still a really nice solid cabbage let's get this out let's just get rid of this it's not going to do anything now and the last thing we've got in this bed is these little onions they've all folded over they're all done they don't get a deal bigger than that and they call a snowball onion never tried them but they feel really firm so while we're here even though some of them are quite small they're still usable so we'll take these out and then that'll be this bed empty we're all done Just in time, I think, as well. Because it looks like that weather's on turn. Well, it's lucky we decided to do that when we did. Those cabbages from the outside look perfect, completely unmarked. But once you get to investigate a little farer, you find that there's a lot of things hiding underneath. And they're the things that will bore into your plants from below and gradually work their way through until everything that you can't see is completely ruined. But we caught it in time. And as I said, that's the 30 foot oop tunnel that we built. So you can get quite a lot of things in that and it's got that constant protection of that netting. And we've had no problems at all from white cabbage butterfly this year because of that netting, so it works. And we're gonna be using that for a few plantings through autumn and winter. Hopefully we can have half a row of Savoy cabbage and half a row of cauliflowers. Maybe a bit of Calabrese in between. We'll see what we do with that when that time comes. But for now, we have managed to get it completely emptied. So it needs amending, needs turning, it definitely needs weeding. We've also took that nice little harvest today. Snowball onions. They're not a bad sized onion. That's as big as they get. But we've never grew those before. So that's something new for this year. And we've got quite a few. And we've got some more of these snowball turnip. They're still nice and hard. So they should be okay. And we've got a few of those. But you know I'm like with swede. Swede is one of my favourite veggies to mix with mashed potatoes and butter. A little pepper as well won't go amiss. But we've got quite a few. Are these really nice swedes? Five in total, including little ones. And swede stores really well. We can just pop that in a shed somewhere cool. And it'll last all the way through autumn and winter. So swede is a really good vegetable to grow. And we're going to be starting some more swede as well in this greenhouse. 
and then planting it outside to overwinter. But getting cabbages at this size as well, I've just given this a quick wash down and it's a nice cabbage and it's really firm. So that's brilliant because we blanch and freeze cabbage. So not a single leaf of this is gonna get wasted, no matter how many we harvest. Blanch, freeze, and it's perfect. It's there when you want it. But that's the one that we've been waiting for. We've been hanging his nose over this for months. Is it ready yet? Is it ready? When we felt it a few weeks ago, it was really soft. And then two weeks ago, it seemed quite a bit firmer. This week, it is a little bit firmer, but not that much. But the point is, we spotted the start of an infestation, which would have completely ruined this cabbage. So luckily, we did what we did. We've saved ourselves two really nice cabbages. We've got some swede, enough to keep us going for quite a while. A few extra onions, and that oop tunnel's now clear. So, all we need to do now is mature these cauliflowers and cabbages and get them out there ready for autumn and winter growing. If you're interested in seeing what else we do through autumn and winter in the garden and in this greenhouse, then please just hit that subscribe button and we'll see you there. Thank you very much for being part of the channel.